Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the easiest investments ever that you can make in this game right now because prices in this part of the market are just way too cheap with a week ahead of a lot of content i think i want to take a look at this area with you guys today for a potential investment also the content just keeps dropping there are so many new players and we're getting more today the super league tots released yesterday today we're going to get the belgium pro league we're going to get more sbc content another icon moments upgrade sbc is expected to be dropped today as well maybe another showdown sbc and who knows what else? Because the content seriously just keeps flowing on this game, and it's great. And I want to talk about that and talk about everything from the market in the past two days, from Friday to yesterday on Saturday and heading into today on Sunday. I want to talk about it all in the video today. So if you're enjoying the uploads on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this investment that I'm talking about. I want to start the video off by speaking on this investment because we have talked a lot about SBC fodder in the past couple of weeks. And I think we still need to talk about it, especially right now with how incredibly low these prices are. 84s are 2K and some even under 2,000 uh, coins. 85s are 4K, 86s are 7,000 coins. Fodder is in the bin. It is so incredibly low with the lining round packs, the saved up packs that people have been opening. Um, and I think today is a great opportunity with the content that we could get on Sunday. I think you might see the beginning of a rise on some of these cards again it's the same fluctuation and the same kind of trend that we've seen the past three or four weeks right fodder gets low on the weekends with the lightning rounds and the saved up packs and then starts to go up during the week as we get SBCs. Now, today on Sunday, I think it's going to be the start of that rise for some cards. Now, if you're going to buy some fodder, where do you want to focus? Like, what kind of fodder cards do you want to buy? Well, here's the thing last week, as you guys remember, 86s did pretty well. Because of the guaranteed uh, rating on that uh, La Liga Tots guaranteed, 86s went from like 7K on the weekend, like 8.4. They were actually even a little bit lower than that on the weekend, all the way up to like 10,000 coins, 11,000 coins on Thursday of last week. Even Friday morning, this Busquets card was like 11, 12,000 coins. They're now 6 to 7K. It's ridiculous how cheap some of these cards are. And I, I think the place where you want to focus on this week for fodder is I want to base it around the guaranteed TOTS pack because that is the SBC that we know is going to be one that will 100% come out later on this week. And it's one that everybody is going to want to do. It's going to be, it, the La Liga one is gone now, but the, the League One TOTS guaranteed to try to pack your guys like the Messi, the Mbappe, the Neymar, it's going to drop this week 100% on Wednesday. That's when we expect it. And we know everybody's going to go ahead and do it. Again, because you have the opportunity to pack guys like Neymar, like Ben Yedder, like Mbappe, like all of these top tier cards. Of course, you're probably going to pack Ganduzi, Fofana, Lafont, one of those guys. But just because you have the opportunity to pack one of the big boys, that's going to be the SBC that we can count on that we know everybody's going to do. And with the price of this team, and the prices of the players that are in this team being about eight, th this team in total, if we scroll up here, 18 million coins is the whole entire squad of League One Tots. That is the most expensive by far for any of the Tots leagues so far. Last week, we had an 87 rated team for La Liga. I would not be surprised if this isn't going to, if this is going to be an 88 rated guaranteed Tots squad on Wednesday for League One Tots. So that's why I think if you're going to buy some fodder this week, I would try to stick to like the 87 to the 88, the 86 to the 87 range, I think might do the best just because I feel like that part of the market of fodder has the highest potential to go up with the content also coming out today on Sunday. But even specifically looking forward to, to Wednesday, I like 86s at like six to 7,000 coins. I love 87s at 10K. Um, you know, even for some of the higher rated squads that could be a part of an Icon Moments 93 plus coming out again today, that's the other SBC that could make higher tier fodder rise. I mean, Lewandowski on Thursday was like 44, 45,000 coins. Thursday night, Friday morning, he was 47K and now he is 34,000 coins. I know a part of that rise was because of the Fabinho and the Rodrigo SBCs and they required some higher rated teams, some higher rated squads. But again, if the guaranteed, uh, League One Tots later on this week is going to be at that 87 to 88 rating. I think these 92s might see like Lewandowski or De Bruyne, the higher tier, like the 90s and up, 
could see a bump in price up as well. That's why I just think fodder across the board is a really good investment right now. And I'm trying to figure out, like we always try to figure out what the best bang for your buck is gonna be, what the best return your investment's gonna be if you're buying fodder. I think that the 86s to 87s are probably gonna be your best bet this week, but maybe dabble in that higher tier, maybe dabble in the lower tier a little bit too, right? Again, 84s at 2K, that's atrociously cheap. That's ridiculous for how cheap these cards are right now. And even starting today on Sunday, like I mentioned, the Icon Moments 93 plus upgrade is going away today. Last week, we had it for the first time. If they follow the same trend, we're probably gonna get the same SBC again today in the game. Now, what does it require? Because also when they re-release these packs, they usually re-release them with the same requirements. This is a four part SBC with 288s and 289 rated squads. It was about 660,000 coins. Hopefully when they re-release it today, it's cheaper. And there's just the absolute slightest chance that they could release the Icon Moments player pick. But I think we would have some leaks ahead of time if that was gonna happen. And as of right now, we have nothing. But regardless, I think that's what, why I think that this fodder is going to be a good buy. If you have not bought it already, the prices that I'm seeing right now are just really, really cheap. And I think that today, especially after content and even in the early hours of today, as people realize how low fodder is, you're going to start to see it rise. So anything between 86 and 92, I think I like the most this week um, because of I think that middle tier is going to do the best. Uh, because a lot of people have untradeable Tots cards in their in their teams as well. So if you need to go do like an 88 rated squad for a guaranteed Tots, or if you're working on an Icon Moments pack, you know, you're probably going to end up buying a couple of those 86 to 87 rated cards to finish out that squad. So that's why I like the SBC fodder investment a lot. And even again, starting with today's content, this could be an SBC. These, these showdown SBC leaks right here, uh, I think this SBC could come out today as well. So if we're getting the 93 plus moments and a showdown Kuti Romero versus Emerson today, I think that that middle tier of the market could start rising as early as today, like I mentioned. So definitely take a look at those cards. They're really low as I'm looking at them right now. Uh, it's because of the lightning rounds. It's just because of the lack of demand for the fodder and also a ton of supply right on the weekends that combination gets these prices low i think they'll rise up now when do you want to sell these cards we'll talk about this too right if you're buying 86s if you're buying 87s i think you would want to wait to sell these until wednesday thursday maybe even friday morning depending on the content that we get later on this week we're probably going to see some more league on tots sbcs maybe another like a tots moments or a u23 we're going to have some more content around those uh, tots cards in that league this week. So I feel like that that's going to be your sell time. So you're kind of buying now and then selling later on in this next week. I think that's a good plan. Um, so this is an SBC that is, I think, either coming today or tomorrow. And I would be leaning towards today because if you remember for the UCL final, which by the way, GG's to Real Madrid, Rodrigo owners for the showdown cards are looking forward to their 94 rated Rodrigo and their 94 rated Gareth Bale. If you got the road to the final, those upgrades are going to happen hopefully pretty soon because uh, both those are going to get a nice boost. But uh, usually they were, they were releasing the showdown SBCs like three full days before the game was played. This game is on Wednesday. It's between Argentina and Italy, the winner of the Euros and the winner of Copa America. So that's why they've chosen Romero and Emerson. It's great timing for this Emerson card because we're in the middle of League One Tots, right? And those Italian links uh, with the League One links as well with uh, Serie A Tots coming next week, that's gonna be a card I think most people would be interested in doing. I'm 100% doing Cuti Romero, of course, as a Spurs fan. That card looks fantastic. So this game is coming on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. But this SBC is probably gonna be out either today or tomorrow on Monday. So keep an eye out for that right there. And again, I think this is probably gonna be somewhere in the range. You know, how much did they price Verratti at? Like 200K? Yeah, I feel like a showdown between these two cards, Romero might be a little bit more expensive because of Premier League tax. tax. But I think that somewhere between two to 250,000 coins would be a sweet spot for these cards. Maybe a little bit less, hopefully. Uh, but if they give them really good stats, then maybe we'll be willing to pay a little bit more. But that could be the rise, start of the rise on fodder today. So that's kind of my investment advice for you right now. If you want to try to make some coins this week, 
fodder is probably going to be the easiest way to do it, honestly. I know that uh, it's not the most glamorous way, but fodder is probably the easiest way to make coins in FIFA, like right now, on a consistent weekly basis. So as long as you pick the right rating of cards, maybe go through and just club stock like a lot of everything. If you have a couple hundred thousand coins, you can buy a couple 87s, go buy a Dybala, a Sancho, a Yaris, a Chesney, a Modric, buy one, put it in the club, do the same thing with the 86s, even the 84s, 85s, and then stack a couple of the uh, above 88 rated as well, like a Ramos, a Mane. It's crazy to think that Gold Conte is fodder. Just do a little bit of a club stock too, even if you don't want to invest. It'll probably pay some dividends later on this week with these cards going up in price. I'm going to do that myself. So other content that we could see today on Sunday, I believe with the Belgian Pro League dropping today, we we're going to see this uh, leaked SBC for Holt. A center back card stats are predicted. Um, maybe this is going to be, I forget the guy's name who was a center back a couple of weeks ago during Air Divisie Tots um, that they dropped. He was a French center back. I can't remember his name. This is bad. But maybe we're going to get those sorts of vibes today. A really cheap Tots card from a secondary league. If he has more than 83 pace, then he might be pretty meta. But this card alongside of the Pro League Tots should be dropping today. Undav, Vanekin, Ito, Di Ketelaire. There's going to be some nice cards in here, man. And it just continues the absolute insane content that we have had recently. Yesterday, we had the um, release of the Super League Tots, including this Balotelli card, which is absolutely unbelievable. Five-star skill boost, four-star weak foot. I mean, look at the upgrade this card got, right? And of course, after the insane goal that he scored last week, Everybody's talking about Balotelli, medium low work rates. Again, the five star skills. There's just so many cool cards to use right now. V scale looks pretty good. Hamshik looks pretty good. The left back looks pretty solid. I mean, there's just so many cool cards that are so cheap inside of team of the season. That's why Tots is just undefeated as one of the best promos every single year because the amount of cards we get with the boosts and the skill move weak foot upgrades this year as well, it's just fantastic. So I absolutely love the content that is coming out. And I'm excited for today's content on Sunday as well. And also, we are one day closer to upgrade packs. Monday, tomorrow's a big day for upgrade packs. We'll talk about that a bit more in tomorrow's video, of course, as we expect that. So let's also talk about the market. You're like, Nate, this market this weekend has been pretty crazy. It has. Uh, these League One Tots cards, they started off really expensive. If you guys remember talking on like Wednesday and Thursday of this last week, I was like, guys, there's going to be two ways this is going to play out. And it played out the second way. EA did not make them really cheap. They started off with crazy high price ranges. Neymar was like 7 million coins. Um, Marquinhos was like over a mil. Paqueta was like 2 mil. And it took them hours and hours of lightning rounds to drop down low in price and then rebound. Well, they did rebound. And they did get very, very low on Friday night into Saturday. I bought two Ben Yetters at 2 million coins flat, sold one at 2.3, sold the other one at like 2, 2 something. I bought five Marquinhos um, at 700K flat, and I sold two here for like 820, 830. The other ones I sold for like 740 or 750. Um, these Militals I bought for like 390 to 400K last week during La Liga team of the season. So I sold all those. I actually sold them a bit early. He actually ended up going to like 480K. Um, I bought a couple Chalmenis as well. I think just one of them at like 680 sold for 780 There were just tons of fluctuations and flips with these brand new Tots cards from Friday night into Saturday. Now, that was the good side of things. If you made some money on those cards, GG's. Uh, of course, if you bought any of those cards early on, you probably did lose a bit, but that was exactly how EA wanted it to go down. Now, what's going to happen with these cards as we head throughout the day today? I still think that, you know, a lot of these are still up from their low points on Friday night. You know, Paqueta was 1-2 flat. Benyetta was 2 mil flat, and he's still 2.13 right now. I think these cards are all going to drop off a bit more today. The lower tier ones, though, like Fofana and Ganduzi, so many people are going out and using these cards. Um, actually, if I'm being honest, if you guys have opened any packs, what it really seems to be like is right now with this team, you're packing tons of Lafonts, tons of Terriers, a tons of Salibas, and then a couple Kloss and maybe um, a couple Payets thrown in there. But like everybody else is like super unpackable. Like I don't even know how in the world I was able to pack Ben Yedder. It's probably going to be that way this week with upgrade packs as well. We just hope that the weight is good so that even if we're packing blues consistently, it, even if it's a lot of the lower tier cards, we at least feel like we're having a chance at packing the higher tier ones. 
because last week it just felt like we couldn't pack anybody. So that's our hope for this next coming week with upgrade packs in total. Um, but I think that all these card prices are going to drop off a bit more today. Could we see a few more fluctuations? Yes. Like Genduzi is one of the most hyped cards and he's 100,000 coins. Fofana is 200k, even though he has bad links. He's still an insane car for 200,000 coins that a lot of people want to go out and try. You know, I'm not going to try to buy a card like a Ben Yedder today, trying to see if he can do the same fluctuation as he did, you know, from early Saturday hours right here at 2 mil, going up to 2.3, you know, and then coming back to, oh, he, he went back to 2.3. Wow. So I sold him too early here at 2.2 when I sold my second one. I'm not expecting some crazy fluctuations like that today on Sunday, um, but I do think you'll see a few cards move around a bit. Actually, I would expect maybe some more fluctuations with the the hyped cards that are inside of the Super League. Maybe a Balotelli, maybe a Hamshik. Since these cards are still probably pretty rare, I haven't checked them on the market too much, um, but the cards that are of value in here are probably going to be pretty rare since they were released yesterday, not on Friday. So I would watch Balotelli and Hamshik for maybe some fluctuations uh, today on the market as well. But I also want to take a look at your out-of-packs cards. Let me actually look at uh, a specific card, for example, here, Renato Sanchez. And if you guys were in the live stream on Friday, we saw some crazy movements. Guys like Renato, Renato was like 420,000 coins. The content drop, he actually went up. Since these League One Tots cards were super duper expensive in that first hour, a lot of your League One out of pack specials bounced, like Renato, like Awar, Jelson Martins went from like 430,000 coins up to like 470 for like an hour. And then after that, they dropped off because especially for a guy like Renato Sanchez, there's so many midfielders in this team, he went down, 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 and he got panic sold a ton. So he actually bounced up right here, and then all night he got panic sold. He went from 450K all the way to 290. And then went back up all the way to 360, 350, where he is right now, based off of rarity. Kind of the same thing happened with like Awar as well. And I don't think we're getting the League One Cup as an objective this week, um, at least unless that comes out today on Sunday. I feel I thought I remembered them dropping those on Saturdays in the weeks past. Um, Awar was like 500k. He bounced up to like 580, then back down to 500. And of course, he does fluctuate a lot around in price. But these League One Tots cards were so expensive early on. That's why those out-of-pack specials exploded. If you're still holding an Awar, a Jelson Martins, I mean, could these guys bounce back a little bit more this week? Yes, but I feel like that's only going to happen uh, if the content is bad for some reason and it's not very hype this week or if they drop the Tots Cup. And I want to see if any of these Jelsons, yeah, man, you see, anytime you see this, like we look at this all the time, you see zero games played for the current club. That tells me that's an investor selling the card. I still have like four Jelsons on my transfer list. Yes, I know this guy's going to be incredibly, incredibly hyped um, this week. And a lot of people are going to want to use him in their teams. But I, I don't see his price rising up that much, even though he's super rare. Just with like everybody's teams now in FIFA are totally divided. Like um, a lot of what we do for like the uh, league investing, like even people that are wanting to buy Serie A cards for this next upcoming week, I'd be a bit careful with that too because people right now are just running so many of the older tots cards from like week one and week two that they have and it it, it takes a lot to try to train change your team every week to whatever league is hype uh it maybe doesn't take as much effort with league un uh because there's a lot of french and a lot of league un links in people's untradeable squads already but i just think that the, investing in that specific league for a rise in the like you know we invested in league one special cards beforehand it's just going to get harder and harder uh because of how many people are already running on tradable cards in their team that link together and they don't want to really change it up so i'm probably not going to invest in any uh syria special cards that, you know maybe a few this zlatan i'd be very careful with although i i feel like zlatan will be a absolute perfect card for ea sports to pick to do an end of an era item or a flashback Zlatan, especially considering that he is potentially done with football um, and done at Milan as well. So, you know, that could be an SBC that comes out, or, you know, a Dybala foot birthday. I know it's really early to talk about that stuff, but this is the time of the, of the weekend when people are looking to invest in that stuff as well. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not going to invest in any of this stuff. I kind of, last week kind of put a sour taste in my mouth 
um, after investing in some of those cards. You know, Dybala's 490K. Yes, this card would be absolutely cracked, and a lot of people would want to link him up with other Serie A Tots cards, but I don't think I'm going to mess around with this stuff. Uh, this week if you want to there's probably opportunities out there where you could make some coins but for me i'm gonna stay away and um, probably just take some of the losses on these um league one special cards that i still have you know i have an hour at like 590 and he's like what 510 i have jelson's at 450 he like kind of hasn't moved and i did buy a couple hakimis for 415,000 coins because i know we have Kloss. And I know that Kloss is just fine, and he's dirt cheap, and he links really good to all the guys that are in the team right now. But this Hakimi is is the the guy, right? This is the right back. If you're playing a League One team, this is the guy you want to use. So I'm hoping that he rises maybe back up a little bit during the week as people maybe craft a Varati. And I know that there's still investors in here that are selling, as you can see here. Zero games played current club. So I bought a couple of those at like 415 because if he goes anywhere near 400K again, I still feel like this card should be like 450 because this is the best right back right now if you're running any sort of uh, League One squad. Like this is the best guy. So that's why I bought a couple of him, hoping that he rises a little bit throughout the rest of this week. Uh, but today should be a pretty good day of content. I'm going to go do a club stock on some SBC fodder right now, like we talked about at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'm just going to hope for some good content this week and watch these Tots cards, man, because it just there's just so many incredible cards right now to keep an eye out for and to watch. And there's just so much content that it's it's incredible. I didn't even look at the SBC, the Batch Hawaii. Uh, I didn't even look at the objective Maxim, who's got five-star skills. But make sure also, I'm watching this Mane because, of course, he's not getting upgraded, so his card price is down a lot. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on your road to the finals. Your bail is going to get upgraded soon. And this Mane was panic sold big time, so he's rare. I might watch uh, and keep an eye on him. Just a quick check on the tokens tracker. I want to just check this at the end of the video. The Tot Swaps tokens, the only ones we have had so far, have been released through objectives except for the free one. We have the Azurke, Dante, the first two objective, and Tots Maxim have all given us tokens. So only five tokens have been released as of right now. They are all still available, and they're all still available for like the next five days until June 3rd. They are all out in the game. So, actually that's more than five days. It's like a freaking week, right? When's June 3rd? Next Tuesday. Plenty of time. Uh, sorry, I can't. That's the wrong month next friday wow all these are out until friday w so plenty of time to go claim some uh claim some tokens maybe today they'll drop the first like sbc for a tot swap 2 token uh but make sure you keep an eye on those and if you're grinding for any of those good luck also if you're grinding weekend league good luck i have no idea in the poll last night i put up on the youtube channel you guys said that you wanted harry kane to be removed from the team and you wanted Ben Yedder to be inserted in. So I removed Harry Kane and with that Deli Ali, and I put in Ben Yedder and Vieira. So I might be running a uh might be running an R9 Ben Yedder strike force. Of course, if you missed it in uh the Twitter post or on the stream on Friday, we did pack Ben Yedder out of a saved 75 times 15. So the red list luck continues. Uh and I gotta find a way to get this guy in the squad the way that I like it. I just need another left mid, if I'm being honest. Like Neymar. I know that's a lot to ask from EA Sports, but Neymar would be so perfect for the team. Um, and, you know, maybe I get Nuno Menge, maybe I run a different formation. We'll see. But this is the squad we're rocking at the moment. I'm probably going to play Weekend League with this exact squad right here and try it out. Still want to use Sun on the team. I'll probably sub him off pretty fast to bring somebody else in. But absolute balling team, man. I can't, I can't wait to use Ben Yedder. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, I'll start my Weekend League games today on Sunday because I have not played any of them as of yet. So, Good luck with your guys' weekend league as well. And hopefully today on Sunday, we do get a solid batch of content. And I think that fodder is going to start to rise up this week because the content should be pretty good, especially with that guaranteed League One pack being the most hyped SBC that we'll see later on this week. So if you enjoyed today's video, put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.